Hey, what I've got for you today is a video about units and what we're going to be measuring, what units we're going to be using for this class. So to start with, I want you to stop, get a piece of paper and a pen or pencil, and I want you to write down things that in your day-to-day -day world that you measure with. What are items you use to measure stuff? So write down a couple. I'm sure you can get three. Can you get five? Can you get six even? So hit pause if you need to and give it a try. All right, so what kind of things do we use in our day-to-day -day life that we measure with? Well, you might have said, okay, a measuring cup, like in the kitchen when we we're making something. You might have said a ruler. What else do we use to measure in our day-to-day -day world? Well, how do we measure, you know, if we're late for class? Well, you look at your clock. What else do we measure? How much do I weigh right now? Well, you might use a scale. So, like a bathroom scale. So, those are just a couple examples. I hope you were able to come up with a couple more. And now, what I would talk, want to talk about is the quantities that we actually measure at the base of everything we do. There are three things that we actually make measurements of. We make measurements of length, we make measurements of time, and mass. So those really are the three things that we measure, and everything else we measure in the world come down to these three things, which is pretty cool, everything else. So what do we measure length in? Well, you might say, well, I grab a ruler and that's 12 inches. We use the metric system, we're scientists. So our standard unit of measure for length is the meter, M. And for time, our base unit for time is the second. Pretty comfortable with that one, I'm guessing. And for mass, well, you say, okay, I step on the scale and it gives me what I weigh in pounds. That's just something else. We're gonna learn the difference between ma mass and weight later on. But for now, mass is measured in kilograms. And you know, you've heard of grams before, you've probably heard of kilograms before. They're the same unit with a prefix, a gram, kilogram. And just like with kilogram and gram being related, well, you can have a kilometer, a kilometer, or a centimeter, or a millimeter, meter, second, gram, and then we just put prefixes in front of those to say if we're dealing with something very small, like a milli, or a nano, or something big, like a mega. So those three things. Now, when we're doing these, what do we use to measure these three things? Well, in order to measure length, you think if I want to measure length, I grab a ruler. So this is measuring length. What else can we use to measure length? Tape measure, a uh, yardstick or a meter stick, a uh, pedometer, measures a length in steps, kind of. That's really, yeah, a length. Uh, what else measures length? An odometer in the car is measuring how far you've traveled. Uh, we have all these different measurements of length. So ruler being kind of the basic one that you probably think of. Time? Well, okay, how do we measure time? A clock. So this is measuring time. Or it might use a stopwatch or something else. What else measures time for us? A calendar? Kind of. Calendar might be sort of a way to measure days, which can be converted to seconds. Another unit, uh, another way to measure time would be a sundial, for instance. All right, and then mass, well, bathroom scale. I mentioned that the bathroom scale actually gives us, uh, I have a cat <laughs> being helpful over there. Uh, the bathroom scale gives us pounds, which is actually something different than mass. It's a, a weight, which is a force. So the bathroom scale, if you are in a European country, probably actually does give you a mass. In the U.S., it's actually giving you a force. It's giving you your weight, which has a different unit. All right, so here are some examples. And now, I also said a measuring cup. So I need, you know, two cups of water for something. Well, what is that? That's a volume. You know, a quarter of a cup or eight ounces of fluid. That's a volume. How come that isn't here? That's a pretty standard thing we measure. Well, if you think about what volume is, Volume really, okay, someone wants to join. Okay, say hi, this is Jeeves. All right, can you leave me alone now? All right, good. So volume is actually 
If you think about units of volume, you might have cubic centimeters, you might have uh, cubic yards of gravel, cubic yards, cubic centimeters. A volume is length cubed. It's a length times a length times a length for a cube. Hi, Annie. And so volume, even though we think of that as its own thing, it really does come down to one of these three. It's length in three dimensions, like by length, by length. There are other things, other things you might have come up with in your tools that measure stuff. And if you want to take a minute right now and say, which, do, which of my tools measures what? So again, hit pause if you want to, and see if you can figure out how the things that you chose for measuring tools come down to just these three things. Another thing I want to talk about is some joint units. I mentioned that mass is different than weight and has a special unit. Well, when we're talking about pounds, that is, we're usually measuring that for our weight, and that's a force. But pounds is a British a standard measure. We want to use a metric measure. So for force, the metric measure is a Newton. Calculate. And you might say, well, okay, that's not any of those three, so isn't this a fourth thing we're measuring? Force, a Newton? A Newton is one of these combination of units. So a Newton is a kilogram times a meter over seconds squared. So it really is these three just combined. One kilogram, one meter, those on top, two seconds on the bottom. So here we go. We've got combination units that we can use, but everything we're going to do comes down to these three. So let's do an example real quick. Oops. And let's, let's talk about a couple of formulas that you're going to be seeing in this class. I'm going to give us three formulas, and I'm going to say that they all end up having the same unit. So these three formulas, they end up having the same unit. So let's verify this. Okay, MGH, what do you think these things are? M, mass. What's the unit for mass? It's a kilogram. We've got to be careful here. I sometimes get mistaken and call this meters, because there's a mass here, which we usually signify as M, and then we've got that M. So yeah, if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. We all do. So kilograms G. We often talk about this as the acceleration due to gravity. It is an acceleration in this case. An acceleration has the unit of meters per second squared. And then H. What might H stand for? In your day-to-day -day world, you might come up with height. If you guessed height, you're right. Height, that's a length, so it's going to have meters. So we have a kilogram, a meters over second squared, and a another meters. That ends up with one kilogram on top, two meters on top, two seconds on bottom. All right, so is this going to have the same units? That's what I'm suggesting. One half, just a number, that doesn't have a unit. M, just like that one, is mass, so that M is a kilogram. V, what do we think about for V? Velocity, speed, those are similar things. In this case, yeah, we're actually talking about speed. V squared, so speed is like miles per hour. In the metric system, we're going to be talking about meters per second. All right, so ignore the one half. We've got kilograms and meters per second, but we're squaring it. So one kilogram on top, meters squared on top, and then we have a seconds on bottom, but that also has to be squared. Looking good, same unit. Okay, now F times D. F force. And what was the unit of force? I might want to back up the video, just a, like a minute or two. It has the unit of a Newton. And D is, in this case, I call it a distance. That's a length, meters. Okay, that doesn't look anything like that, does it? But remember, the Newton is a combination unit. So hiding in that capital N is a kilogram meter per second squared. So that's the Newton right there, times another meter. All right. Kilogram, one kilogram on top, two meters on top, two seconds on bottom. And look at that, all three of those have the same unit. So these three things 
are all something that has the same unit. They're not exactly the same thing. They mean different things, but they're all something with the same unit, which means they can be added and subtracted. One last thing I want to show you is just an example of multiplying and dividing units. So we got to be careful sometimes. If we're using a formula we don't know or if we're not sure about something, sometimes we can use the units to figure out if we're ending up with the right type of answer. So let's do an example. Let's get my notes. What do I want? Let's do kilograms to the fourth times seconds squared over meters to the fifth, oh boy, times seconds to the third, meters to the second, and kilograms to the negative one. Okay, so if I want to multiply these two sets of units together, and I have I really doubt that these have any physical meaning. I was just throwing some things together. Well, let's see. How are we going to do it? Well, let's just start by saying, let's figure out what the kilograms add up to. Let's figure out seconds, and let's figure out meters. So we're just going to do them one at a time. Let's start with the kilograms. I have kilograms. I have kilograms to the fourth, and then kilograms to the minus one. Okay, so multiplying those together, four minus one gives me three. Seconds. I have seconds squared and seconds to the third. Two plus three gives me seconds to the fifth. Now I have m to the fifth and m to the second. Don't add them though. It's not m to the seventh because this is in the bottom. So this unit right here, one over m to the fifth is the same as m to the minus fifth. Just like this was actually a one over a kilogram. So we have m to the fifth, which means m to the minus five, m to the two, so negative five, positive two. Now you could do the answer one of two ways. You could say that's gonna leave me with three on bottom, two on top, five on bottom, leaves me three on bottom. Or you could say that it's m to the minus three. Those are equivalent. They both got kilograms to the three, seconds to the fifth, and meters to the negative three or meters cubed on bottom. Same thing. So that was just an example of how to multiply units. You can do the same thing with dividing. And it's just you got to remember how to use your exponents. When multiplying exponents, you're adding the exponents together. I think that's all that I want to show you on units. I hope this one was helpful. Hopefully this is more of a reminder in that you're you have something in the back of your head that's like, oh yeah, I remember that. If you need to do more practice on this, well, the easiest thing to do is just make up some problems and see if you can figure out what they are. And I'm always available to help you check things. I will be providing practice problems so you can get practice on doing these and you know if you're doing the right thing. But other than that, you should be good to go now. Good job.